Shalom, my people. Shalom. Hey, this is the day that the Passover starts. The Passover starts on the 14th through the 21. This is the day that I celebrate my Easter. My Easter starts today. This is the day that I should celebrate my Passover. The day that the Lord saved me. This is the day that the Lord brought us out of Israel. This is what we should be celebrating instead of people celebrating Easter. Yesterday, we should be celebrating today. Start on the 14th, Nisan, the first day of the month. The first month of our year. When the Lord brought us out of captivity, then our year started. It's like we started a whole new life. We came out of there, and this is what I'm celebrating today. And, and, and I'm here to on, uh, uh, teach the word. It's not on my Passover, but I'm just introducing to you what I am doing today. It last seven days where I would not eat uh, uh, no unleavened bread. And then I, I bought a lamb, bought some lamb chops, and I put to cook that in sundown. I already got it seasoned and ready. And I put to cook that at sundown. I have my lamb. The lamb meant the sacrifice of God. God came to us as an unblemished lamb. No blemish on it. I prayed over it and read it. But I'm here to spread the word. But this is what we're supposed to be celebrating, people. Not Easter. This is our Passover right here. Start today and last until the 21st. Okay? But on, on, on this note here, I'm, the name of this study is The Salvation for Israel. I'm going to get straight to it, my people. I want to say shalom to all my people out there. And hope this message get out and hope it edify you. This is... To let you know that we are the children of Israel. My em main emphasis is to let you know that we are the children of Israel. Until we get that, we'll never know. I see people uh, on Facebook today. I went on there and I seen people talking. I asked different questions. It, it, it does you no good. It does you no good until you know who you are. I can explain it to you, but it, 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 it will have no effect until you know that you are the children of God. Not just come right every day. Who are you? I'm the child of God. No, 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 no. You are really the child of God. The only one. You from the tribe of Israel. I'm just going to let you know that. So you from the tribe of Israel. You are the only one that, that, that has that title. But everybody want to be in that title, but they can't. But until you realize that you are who that, you are the child of Israel, you will, you will never, you will, no, will not know. But here, I'm going, to get, I'm going to get to it. First, I got to let you know that in Ecclesiastes 4, 16, there's no end to all the people. Even all of that has been before them. They also, they come after. There, there's no end to the people. So when they tell you there's no end, that, that all them people don't exist no more, you exist, you here today, the bloodline still runs, and you are it. You are the bloodline of, 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 of the people that was in, 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 in captivity for 400 years up under the uh, uh, Egyptians, which is the modern-day Africans. The Africans are the ones that sold you to the other nations. They got to pay for what they've done to you, too. You're not an African. I try to tell people you are not an African. You come from the... You come from the land of Israel, the, the land of Jerusalem. That's where we come from. We come from Jerusalem, Israel. Israel means a city of peace. There's no peace over there because we're not home. It won't be peace until we get home. Jerusalem means peace, city of peace. And there won't be none until we get back there. Okay? And the name Israel, guess where Israel got its name from? Israel got its name from Jacob. Jacob wrestled with the angel and said, I will not turn you loose till you give me a blessing. And the angel changed his name to Israel. And that's where the name come from. That's where it comes from the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob. Jacob is your forefather. And the Lord changed, the angel changed his name to Israel. And this is his name. He, he wouldn't let him go. So the Lord said, I'm going to change your name to Israel. And that's where the land of Israel get their name from. They name not to you. But there's no peace there because we are not home yet. Okay? Jacob's name will change to Israel. See, Jacob's name will change to Israel in Genesis 32, 28. And he said, Thy name shall no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince has thy power with God and with men. 
and has prevailed. That's us. That is us, folks. But they will not teach you that in church, but I'm here to teach you that now. Okay, go to the book of Daniel. Daniel, salvation of Israel. Go to the book of Daniel 12.1. 12.1. At that time shall Michael, the archangel, stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble. We're going through this trouble right now. We are in a time of trouble that's never been seen before. Well, I take that back. We was in Egypt. That's a time of trouble too. This is another part of the time of trouble. Such as never was since. There was a nation even to that same time. It, 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 the same thing was back then, right now. We are that same nation that's going through the, the, the trial of the 400 years of slavery during the Egyptian time. We are going through that. We're the same people, okay? In that time, the people shall be delivered. They were delivered then. The children of Israel shall be delivered now. And everyone that shall be found written in the book. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, we shall be saved. Let me go, let me tell you something. Two-thirds of you Negroes going to die. Just point blank. Two-thirds of you Negroes going to die because of disobedience and not following the law, statutes, and commandments. The Bible is not a religion, it's law, statutes, and commandments. Two-thirds of you Negroes will die from this virus. And the sword, sword is the modern-day gun. I say plague, not just this, not just this virus, plagues, AIDS. Everything else that comes along with all them different diseases. The bowl, all them diseases. They ain't done yet. Two-thirds of you nickels will die. Ezekiel 5, 12. Ezekiel 5, 12. A third part. These shall die with pestilence. Pestilence is diseases, people. The Bible was written for you. The Bible was written by Negroes. So-called Negroes. And Maccabee, the Lord said, the heathen painted, the, they opened the book and painted the judges thereof. The judges are the prophets. They painted the judges thereof. They went through the Bible, painted everybody white. That's why you see all these pictures of these white people. Think about it, you come out of the Middle East. Now in the hell are all going to be white. It was burning up hot. Hotter than it is now, they would be dead. They can't stand it. They come from they come from up in the West Cold. They like where it's cold and not where it's warm at. Two thirds of you niggas are gonna die. I'm just telling you right now. And you can see it as you speak. Nigga died from AIDS, they died from cancer, they died from all kinds of disease. Two thirds of you niggas are gonna die. Check this out. And with famine. Famine is no food. During this crisis, when there ain't no food, everybody, everybody starving. The, 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 the crops are not being produced no more. They, 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 they throwing it away because the restaurants are closed down. They are just uh, are destroying food. Now people in line. California with 10,000 people in line trying to get fed. You go in the store, there's nothing on the shelves. So you see all this playing out. Mm -hmm. Shell, they'll be consumed in the midst of uh, a third part shall fall by the sword. Another third part shall fall by the sword. One third, one third equals two thirds. That's how you nigga is going to die. Through famine, pestilence, in the sword. That's how you nigga is going to die. You don't believe me? Read Exodus 5 12. 5 12. You don't believe me? The Lord told Mo, told Ezekiel, go out and warn the people. I am another type of Ezekiel. I'm coming out here to warn the people. Just says the Lord. Go out there and warn the people. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. God has made me a watchman unto the house of Israel. I am giving you this word out for you can have a better understanding. The churches are not going to teach you this. But I'm giving it to you raw and in person. Here it is. I'm giving you scriptures where to go to. Ezekiel 3, 17. Warning to my people. I just read it to you. And I just read you Daniels. Okay. Here go a precept to Daniels. A precept to Daniels 1. Here go a precept to Daniels 1. 
John 5, 28 through 29. Here you go. Marvel not at this. For the house, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear this voice and shall come forth that come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of shame. You're going to die from this and you're going to wake up. You're either going to wake up for doing good, which is being saved by the, 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 the anointed one, for the law, chapter, and commandment, or you're going to be ashamed for doing evil. That's just point blank to it. Go to Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45, 17. 45, 17. Check this out. But Israel, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord. And with everlasting salvation, you shall not be ashamed nor confounded without end, world without end. I just read you, John. We shall not be ashamed when the time comes because we are the children of, 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 of the Most High. But you got to follow the law, statute, and commandment. We are Israel. Until you realize that you are Israel, I have given you the scripture and let you know that you are Israel. Until you realize that, you will not know. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. Go to Exodus. Go to Exodus 12.1. 12.1. Yeah, and you already knew you come out of you come out of uh, 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 the, the, the the captivity of the Egyptian. Guess what the Lord saying? The Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, "This month, this month shall be unto you the beginning of the month. It shall be the first month of the year to you." That's when we came out of captivity. Our time is not their time. We on a different time schedule for them, because when we came out of captivity, our time started like we got a new start in life. Speak. Unto all the congregation of Israel. You are the congregation of Israel. Moses spoke only to us. The congregation of Israel, not to nobody else. That's why I say this Bible is yours. Go to uh, uh, Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23, 6. 23, 6. Check this out. Check this out. In that, in, in his, let me get this right. In his day, Judah, which is you, the 12 tribes, 12 tribes, Judah, the so-called Negroes from the tribe of Judah, speaking to you so-called Negroes, in this day shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. The rest of the, the, the Israel is the rest of the tribe. The rest of the 12 tribes. We make up the southern kingdom. Israel, J Judah, Benjamin, and Levi make up the, 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 the southern kingdom. We are, our, our biblical name is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Our white given name is Negro, West Indian, which is Trinidad, and Haiti. The other 12 tribes are Simeon. Other, the other nine tribes, the northern tribe is Simeon. Zebabylon, Ephraim, Massim, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, uh, Asher, and Issachar. You are the the, 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 the so-called Native American Indians and, 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 and Latinos. But guess what the Lord said? This day, Judah, which I can try, I just gave you, shall be saved in Israel. Israel, the rest of them, shall dwell in safety. And this is the name where being shall be called, the Lord of Righteousness. If you... Follow the Lord of righteousness, which is the law, statute, commandment. You shall be saved. Because we are the children of Israel. Until I let you know that you are the children of Israel, you will not understand it. But guess what? We are a rebellious nation. Go to, uh, I'm just going to read it to you. Ezekiel 2, 3. Write it down. Ezekiel 2, 3. And he said unto, and he said unto me, the son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation. They have rebelled against me, and they and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. We are doing nothing, thus says the Lord. We follow all the images, and these wooden great images, which is the cross in that uh, 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 cobblestone which they kiss. That cross is a graven image. 
God don't want you worshiping no cross. Why would you worship a cross on what they hung your Lord on? But they have talked to us so bad that we discontinue for our continue. So we think we got that cross on when we worship God. No, you're not. That's a blasphemy to the most high. I'm just trying to tell you, Pope. Okay, go to Jeremiah 46. Go to, go to Jeremiah 46. Over a couple of books. Go over a couple of books in Jeremiah 46. Jeremiah 46, 27. But fear not, oh my servant Jacob. I just read you to you. See, when you that's why I'm saying it's important that you know who the names are in the Bible. I just read to you Jacob. Jacob is the 12th tribe of Israel because the Lord said your name shall no longer be Jacob but Israel. I read that to you. I gave you that. Go, go back on the video and look at it. So when you see Jacob, Israel, and Jerusalem, he's talking about you. Be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I have saved them from a God said, I have said, I knew this was coming. I saved you from a far off. I knew this was coming. I already done saved you. You just got to follow my law, statutes, and commandments. And, and thou see, Lord had already saved us from a fall in our seed. Our seed is our, 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 our kids. Them our seed. That's why, oh man, them our seeds. In the land of their captivity, this is not our land. I told you we come from Israel. We come from Jerusalem. We did not come from Africa. We migrated to Africa in 65 A.D. During the Roman prosecution, we ran to Africa. We can blend in with them because we look like them. They the ones sold us into slavery when we got to Africa because we took our culture with us. We was all we. You gotta remember, we built Egypt. We built Egypt, and right now today we can build and do anything. We can design all the technology they have. Now we designed that, but as slavery, you didn't get no credit because you were the slave. So that's how you know you're the same people. And Jacob shall return and be at rest and ease. And none shall make him afraid. After all this over with, this is it. We're going to be on top. The salvation belongs to us. I'm giving you scriptures. You cannot say that I'm making this up because I'm giving you scriptures upon scriptures and where to go. Oh, man. Come on. Okay. Go to Zechariah. Go to Zechariah, please. Go to Zechariah. 8, 13, 8, 13, check this out, check this out, and it shall come to pass that you were cursed among the, we were cursed among the heathen, because we are went into slavery, we are cursed among the heathen, check this out, check this out, oh house of Judah, I told you, when you see Judah, Israel, Jacob, and Jerusalem, them talking about us. O house of Judah, in the house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be blessed. For not, fear not, but let your hand be strong. Stand strong. Stand strong. Just hold on. The Lord coming for us. I'm trying to tell you, folks, everybody want to get on here and criticize this Bible. A Bible written by the white man. How in the world is a Bible written by the white man and it's contained in you? Every information you got contained in you. All these situations fit nobody but you. King James was a black man. They trying to tell you that stuff is a white man. Study your book. Get your dictionary and find out who you talking to, man. All these curses fit us. King Solomon said, I am black, but I am Connolly. Huh? Joe, go, that, 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 that's King Solomon 1 and 5. He tell you he black. He not ashamed. He told you he said, I'm black, but Connolly. That means he handsome. And when you go to Genesis, what the first, what did you lost? I made you. I had the dust out of the ground. What color is the dust out of the ground, people? He talking about you. Every all the scientists know that there exists nobody but black people first, and everybody came out of us. Everybody came out of us. This Bible is written for you, nobody else. Let me carry on. Go to Matthew. Go to Matthew 15, 24. Matthew 15, 24. Matthew 15, 24. Here it go. Here it go. Here it go. Here it go. 
This is Jesus talking. But he said, but he answered and said, I am not, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The most high, this is a red letter. This is the most high talking. This is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, I am not sent. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You don't want to be this? You don't have to be. You're going to die. I'm giving these words for words. I'm not making this up. You just heard what the Lord just said in red letter. I'm just telling you. Okay, I'm keep going. Go to Luke. I'm, just, I'm, I'm giving them to you. Scripture brothers come to Scripture. Go to Luke. Go to Luke. Luke 168. 168. 168. What? If people say, you jump from back, you jump from Scripture, Scripture. The Bible said. I'm going to show you. Uh, I got to show you. The Bible said, precept on precept, line upon line, line upon line, here little, there little. That's how you read the Bible. You can't read the Bible no other way. You can't read the Bible no other way but that way. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Don't you want to know who Israel is? It don't make no sense that you hear this word. You see this word in the book over a thousand times and don't want to know who it is. is. You, heard, you know that the Lord gave Israel over there right now today. It was given by Jacob. When the Lord changed Jacob's name to Israel, that's when Israel, see back then people, the land was named after people, like Africa. Africa's real name is Ham, after Noah's son. After Noah's son, that's where Africa from. When the white people come over, the French, they came over, they took over. Jamaica, the land of water and wood. They call you Jamaica. That was, that's not your nationality. These names were given to you by them when they conquered you. Before then, the name was named after the people. A landmass was named after the people. The land of Jacob. Israel. Come on, man. Oh man, okay, go look here. Yeah, go, go, oh, let, 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 let me go. Let me go. Let me go get this here. Let me get this right here. Let me get this here first. I think this way. Let me see where it's at. I think this. Let me let me find it. Let me find it. Mm. Let me go 2018. 2018. I think this way. 2018. Here it go. Here it go. Thank you, Lord. Who shall he teach knowledge? He asked you a question. You got it. He asking a question. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand the doctrine? Understand the word. Them that are weaned from the milk. If you're not weaned from the milk, you still going back just reading Luke, John. That's all you want to go. You still not weaned from the milk. And drawing from the breast. For a precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, hill little, dale little. That's how you read the Bible. That's how you get understand. The Bible was not given to nobody but you because we the only one who know how to break it down and understand it. Oh, Lord, him, man, look here. Let, let me, okay, go, go to, uh, 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 go to, uh, Leviticus. Go to Leviticus. I'm reading because I'm trying to cover a lot of ground. Leviticus 26, 17. See, this is for the hard hip. I will set my face against you. Just imagine the power of God. I got my face against your face. And you shall be slain before your enemy. You so hard head and stiff neck. That's why we die in front of our enemy. They that hate you shall ring. The, who hate us? Every other nation hate the so-called Negro trail tribe to Israel. The Indians on the reservation, they destroying them, kick, killing their women, and, and, and poisoning them. And here we go. You got the, the, the Mexicans up under the bridge. They still doing it, taking their kids. Won't let them come back to their own land. This is their land. Check this out. And the Negroes getting killed every day in the street. The Lord doing this to you because we stiff nick hard nick people. I just read you to we were rebellious. I just read to you where he told Ezekiel to go speak to the people. They rebelled against me. 
them and they father. So our forefathers and us have rebelled against the Lord. So this is why this happened to us. Okay, come on. Acts 5.13. Acts 5.13. Acts 5, 13, 5.31. Acts 5.31. Check this out. Check this out. Him has God exalted with his right hand to be a prince of the Savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. The Lord, the Most High, Raised up Yahweh Shah, his son, to give us repentance. He died on the cross for us. Why would you want to get a cross like I told you and represent a cross who, who for somebody that killed them? He died for us. That's why my Passover starts today. Because what it represents is that all this other stuff gonna pass by because when we came out of Egypt, God told us to take a lamb. Take the blood, put on the gold pole, and the death angel shall pass us by. This is why I celebrate my Passover. Lord have mercy. He died for our sin, for, for Israel to get repentance. If you don't know you Israel, you're going to die. I promise you. Romans. Romans. Romans 9, 27. Romans 9, 27. Romans 9, 27. Check this out. Check this out. I told you, the Lord loved Isaiah. He always quoting Isaiah. You better pay attention to this. That she trying to tell you that the Old Testament is done away with. Why? Who? What do you think they studied in the New Testament? They didn't have a New Testament. They studied from the Old. Come on, people. Look here. Isaiah also cried. Cried concerning Israel. Thou, though thou never... A children of Israel has been be as sand of the sea, the raiment shall be saved. Though we are big in a nation, but on a remnant of us gonna be saved, and that is a third. I gave you the scripture where it says two thirds gonna die, so that means on the third left. You're gonna die from diseases, you're gonna die from famine and starvation, and you're gonna die by the sword. We died every day, and now you see they died from starvation. Because guess what? If it happens now, ain't gonna be no more food. They died from this this, this, this COVID nineteen because they disobeyed children. They are rebellious. That's what does say the Lord. If you go back, read my video, you shall see it. Ezekiel two and three, and He said unto me, the Son of Man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation. They have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. That is why we are dying. That's why we are suffering because we done doing that. Thank you very much. Let me go to Romans 11.26 and I'm going to tell you how to get out of this after I read Romans 11.26. 11.26. Romans 11.26. Check this out, folks. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and he shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Zion is Jerusalem. There shall come out of there with your Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, came out of Jerusalem. He was a so called black man. Jesus is a so called black man. Wow. Jesus is a so-called black man, whether you want to believe it or not. It's in Revelation. Hey, I'm going to get you this, and then I'm going to close up. I done told you Israel going to be saved. I told you how we're going to be saved. Let me go to Revelation. Revelation. 12, 12. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Revelation 1, 12. Revelation 1, 12. 1, 12. Check this out. 
Check this out. This is going to be it. I'm going to describe the Lord Jesus Christ to you. I'm going to describe the Lord Jesus Christ to you in case you never heard it. Here goes the description. And I turned to see. This is John on Patmos. And I turned to see the voice that spake unto me. And being turned, I saw seven candlesticks. You don't see that in church, the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, like unto the Son of Man, Lord, your high was shot. Clothes and the garment down to his foot. He was clothed in the garment down to his foot, girded by his belt. That's like that gold belt with a gold girdle. That's that gold belt, like a wrestling belt. God was gold. He was, he was, he was garment all the way down to his feet, like the old, like the other, uh, like the uh, uh, Jerusalem gear, Israel gear. He was girded all the way down to his feet with a gold belt. God had a gold belt. You want the poor man like they try to describe you on, on on TV, like a man in raggedy clothes? No, sir. He was a wealthy man, gold round his belt. Check this out. Where I'm at. His head and his hair were white like wool. White like wool. Who has white woolly hair? That Jesus Christ, they show you, got stringy hair. It's not even white. It's blonde or whatever color. It's like a dog kind of color. But the description of the Bible says he had white woolly hair. Or, 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 or with white hair with woolly who got wool of hell? Negro got wool of hell. Negro got wool of hell. Come on, man. You dog. Uh, why your church don't teach you this? White as snow. His eye was a flaming fire. They got a blue-eyed Jesus. They have a blue-eyed Jesus in the Bible described. This man's eye was red like fire because guess what? He drunk wine. Come on, people. Look here. Check this out. And their feet were like unto fine brass. You got a penny. You got a penny, get you a penny, or go get you some needle nose pie, and get you a lighter. Light that penny. Light that penny, and see what happens. Check this out. As if it were burnt in a furnace. When you get that penny, you burn it in the furnace. What color does it turn? Jet black. My Jesus Christ, who we even call, his name is Yahweh Shai, was a black man, and he was dull. That man was blue. He was so black that he looked at blue. Why in the world you got a white Jesus with blue eyes and blonde hair? Check this out. I ain't done yet. In the voices, okay, check this out. As it been burnt in the front of his voice, as a as the sound of many waters. Why they trying to make this Jesus be so sissified? This man had a voice like a wave, woo, a big thick wave coming down there. They try to make him sound like a sissified man. I just gave you the description of Jesus Christ. If you don't believe that he was black, you are a fool. You are a fool, and God said He called you a fool. He called us. Foolish children, which means Scottish children, because we are stiff-necked people, because we don't want to believe, because they done put that down your head, that Jesus was white, and I just described to you in Revelation, the last Bible, that this man was so black that he looked like he'd been burnt in a furnace, and he had fiery eyes, and he had woolly hair. That did not look like the white Jesus. They got posted all over the place who you went to church and worship. And the people say, well, color don't matter. If color didn't matter, why did they go to Michael B and painted the faces of the judges thereof, huh? Let me get Michael B. Let me get Michael B. Let me get all this show. It's good. Let me get Michael B. I think it's first Michael B, three, three. Where is it? First Michael B. They painted the faces of the judges thereof in Michael B. They painted the faces of the judges thereof in Michael B. And that's how you get what you get now. That's why you don't understand who the Lord Jesus Christ is. Because they painted the faces of the judges. They painted the faces of the judges. And so we don't know who they are. I can't find it right now. But that's where it said. It's in Michael B. In Michael B. When they painted the faces of the judges thereof. Because they wanted everybody to think that the Jesus Christ was white when he was really he was a black man, huh? That's what it did, and they tried to make us think that he was and he was not. They painted the faces of the of, the, uh, uh, of him and, and, and make us think that he was white, but he, I just gave you the description of him. I just gave you the description of him, and you still don't want to understand why he told you that. Check this out, and 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 when many of Israel came unto. Uh, Matthew, as his son came together, we all got to come together. You got to find out who Jesus Christ is, man. 
If you don't find out who he is, you will always be lost. They want to keep you that way. They want to keep it that way and change it out. But guess what? It's not going to be that way forever. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come to us and show us who he is in person. If all these descriptions don't fit you, I don't know what does. I don't know what does. Heavenly Father, watch over us as we go through this, this time and this trial period we're going through. But like you said, Israel shall be saved. If we just listen, we shall be saved. Pay attention. Read this Bible and study it. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah. I pray to you because we are too dirty to pray to the Most High. You are our mediator to get to the Most High. I pray that these people take this word and put it in their mind that they may understand who we are. Shalom, my people. Shalom.